Hello and welcome to Miss Pam Reads. Today we are reading When Sophie Thinks She Can't by Molly Bang. When Sophie Thinks She Can't by Molly Bang with Ann Stern. Sophie loves working in the vegetable garden and exploring the woods, but today it's pouring rain and Sophie's inside trying and trying to build puzzle pieces into a square. <clears throat> Sophie's sister walks by. She moves the pieces and suddenly they all fit perfectly. Too bad you're not smart, says her sister, and she walks away. Hmm. The next day is sunny, not sunny for Sophie. I can't do anything, she thinks. She drags her feet all the way to school. Oh no, what's the one word on the board? Smart. How do we become smart? Asks Ms. Mulroy. Nobody knows the answer. They all think you have to be born smart. Hmm. Flex those strong muscles of yours, says Miss Mulry. All the children flex their muscles. Our muscles get stronger when we exercise, right? When we exercise our brains by thinking how hard, our brains get stronger too. Now, we've been learning about rectangles and squares. A rectangle has four sides four right angles, opposite sides equal length and parallel. A square has a rectangle with all sides equal. Today, we'll exercise our brains with a math puzzle using squares and rectangles. But I can't do puzzles, Sophie thinks. I know I have strong muscles, I'm good at soccer, and I work hard in the garden. I can't do puzzles. I'm never smart at math. But Miss Mulroy, Mulry, is talking. You're going to build a bigger rectangle out of 12 small squares. How many different rectangles can you make? Use the tools at your table <clears throat> or come up with another way. I can't do it, says Sophie. Make your brain stronger, whispers Paula. Just try. Paula gathers a, pile, a pile of square tiles. Think hard, Sophie, whispers Andrew. He takes a sheet of graph paper. Sophie sits and stares and stares. Maybe she can draw them. Oh, Sophie does draw squares, but her squares are all different sizes. Paula has too many tiles. Andrew's graph paper has too many little squares. This problem is hard. Ms. Mulry is smiling. She speaks to the class. I see you mathematicians struggling. Now's the time to use the most important word. That word is yet. You haven't figured it out yet. Keep working, keep trying, and you will. Paula, Andrew, and Sophie work hard. Paula takes only 12 tiles and builds them into a rectangle. Andrew marks a red X in each square as he counts them. Sophie thinks of her garden. Her garden is a rectangle. Vegetables are in straight lines. Sophie draws a line with 12 different vegetables on it. She draws squares around the 12 vegetables. Paula, Andrew, and Sophie count their different rectangles four different kinds. But Sophie is worried. Mine's not a rectangle, she groans. It's too long. 
It is a rectangle, says Paula. It's a very long one. We did it! Meanwhile, Miss Mulroy looks at the rectangles the other students have made. Six rectangles. You all did it, she says. See the different ways they did it, right? They're all rectangles. Smarter. You've worked hard and gotten stuck. You've used the most important word yet. You've tried and tried again, helped each other and solved it. Those brains of yours have certainly gotten stronger. Sophie feels the sun on her face. I solved the puzzle, she laughs, and it was a math puzzle. I did it, and I can do it again. I'm getting smarter. When Sophie gets home, her dad has a puzzle too. I can't figure out how to fix this cabinet door, he says. Dad, says Sophie, you have to use the most important word. You can't figure it out yet. Can I help? And you know what? They do fix it together. The end. What a cool story. <laughs> now remember, if you want to look at those rectangles, you can rewind the video to that page that shows the different ways that they made them. All right, you guys, have a great day. Thank you for joining me. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you'll get an update when a new story posts. Bye.